Got a 1950s Ford truck radio, Ford pick em up truck. These are neat little radios, a real small, small dial. We've uh, polished all the chrome and the inside and uh, cleaned the knobs. And we've done a full Aurora design conversion. It now has a AM FM stereo. Got a little green LED stereo light over here and a status light which changes multiple colors. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel, AM, FM. Auxiliary in, which is automatic, we'll be demonstrating that. It has USB port. This is your harness you'll be getting. You can mount this anywhere, it's got a long lead on it. Play a thumb drive, you'll be getting a thumb drive and a mail to mail cord for your auxiliary in. It also has Bluetooth, voice command, voice assistance, all in this little radio. It takes a little while to do these because they're so compact because you got to keep the original tuner and everything in it. Right now you're on FM. Election day, a few hundred dollars a month. It's in place since 1982. Troubling bass like you've always had. You won't go to AM radio, you just simply turn it off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio. Opioid abuse, and we're going to actually talk a little bit about pain relief. Off and right back on, right back to FM. No fancy thrills, it's just pretty neat. Uh, that's how you work your AM FM stereo. Your auxiliary in, which you plug anything into this radio, satellite radio, XM, uh, CD players, your phone, iPods, we're going to put a little iPod, MP3 players, and all you do is bring it up and hit play, and it automatically transfers over. As we all know, today is a very special day. There we go. One, two, three. The little LED is gone to green over here. That means auxiliary in. You also have, uh, if you hook two speakers up to it, you'll have a stereo light, if you're on FM, and you'll have a fader built in your control here, and balance. If you hook up three or more, you'll have fader and balance. It automatically knows how many speakers are running as soon as you turn it on. And the way that it works, all you do is you find the center of your treble and bass, and we're going to go into fader mode. We're going to go like a 12 to 2 motion twice. One, two. It's going to beep. When it gets to the beep, we're going to be in the fader mode. As long as we're moving this toner control in that mode, it will fade from front to rear. After you find what you want, just stop. It'll beep once and go back to toner. After that, we're going to go counterclockwise like a 12 to 10 motion. One, two. It's going to do the same thing, but it's going to put you in the balance mode. I haven't done it on this radio, so let's see if it works. We're going to go to fader. There's your rears, fronts. We're going to balance it out. Stop, let it beat. Now we're going to go into balance mode, counterclockwise. One, two. There's your rights. 
There's your left. Balance it out, let it beat once. Now we're back on toner, treble and bass. Good sign a little radio. When you need, you're on the auxiliary end device, you want to come off of it. Just bring it up and turn it off. In 20 seconds, the radio will go back to doing what we had it doing. If you want to shorten that 20 seconds, just turn it off and back on during that 20 second window and it remembers where you're at. You can actually cancel out the 20 seconds. We're going to let it do its thing make sure it switch back. Automatically switch back over. That's how your auxiliary end works. You balance and you fader. Back on FM stereo. Now we're going to run our phone in on Bluetooth. Make sure everything's working there. We're going to check our mic out and our push button. All we're going to do is bring our phone up on Bluetooth. And we're going to hold this down and pair it up. You always got to do initial pair up. And then after that, every time you get in your truck, you have your phone with you. And turn this on, she'll come on and say, device connected. Let's uh, pair it up. Showed up on her phone. All we do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Now we know we're connected. Let's check out our mic. We're going to do a voice command by holding this down again. Play music. I'm going to go to music on my phone. Mine always starts at a lower volume, which most of them do. If you want to advance your songs, you just push your button once. Twice to back up or repeat. Repeat. Back up. Go forward again. Now I can just turn this off. It'll go back to FM and then I can bring the phone back up and hit play and it will go back to Bluetooth. As long as you're connected, which it is connected now. Because you can tell the little LED is on blue. We're going to go uh, back to radio. We're going to use the voice command. Check our mic out again. Hold it down. Stop music. Put it in pause right now we're going back. Now that you're paired up, no matter what you're doing, USB, radio, phone, phone call comes in, it'll take precedence over all of it. It'll stop, you'll hear it ringing through your speakers. Just take your button and tap it once, talk. You can let the phone hang up on its own, it will go back to doing whatever you had it doing, or you can hit it twice to end the call if you don't want it. That's how your Bluetooth, voice command, hand-free phone calls, everything works. Thank you, Lee God, gang. Red for his life. You can see if my first time I shot it. 31. It's kind of part of the comet. Dream house. Pretty cool radio. Now we're going to do the USB. Uh, as soon as you plug in your thumb drive, it's going to go straight to it. And I'll show you how to operate it with the push button and how you can leave this in there unless you want to charge the device. Put it in. All you got to do is push to advance, just like your phone.
Now you're on USB, the light's in a different color. If you're going down the road and you want to go back to radio, you just hold this down one second. Puts this in pause. That's going to blink a few times along with that, and we're going to go right back to FM where we had it set. Back on FM. If you have this hid, you don't have to pull the stick out or find it to go to USB. Just hold it down one second. Depends on how long you was in pause, whether you go back to the same song or not. Hold it down one second. Right back to your USB. Let's go back to radio one second. Put it in pause. Let's go right back to radio on FM. 19th. From Zoom. Zoom offers cloud video conferencing, online meetings, and a video conference room solution in one platform featuring digital video and audio. That's your original 1960s. registration and more at I mean 50s, 57, 56, uh, Ford Truck Radio. With a full roar design conversion redone. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you. And I'm Kelly McEvers.